Hello, my name is Maretta and welcome to my channel Maretta Threads. Today I am doing a tutorial for this sewing pattern. This sewing pattern has four options, the baby tee option, the long sleeve option, the option with the long sleeve with split detail or the final option which is any of these iterations but with a turtleneck. So today I am sewing the T design of this sewing pattern and I have cut it out in an extra small because I want to create a baby T basic. So I have just cut out that fabric and now I'm removing the pins and the fabric that I have chosen is bamboo fabric which I highly recommend for fabrics um, that sit really close underneath your arm because bamboo is a natural antibacterial and deodorizing fabrication that breathes and wicks away moisture. So for something that sits so close underneath your underarms or is closely fitted, you can get days and days of wear out of this and it's like wearing it brand new every day. So here we have the back portion of the shirt, good side facing up, and I am laying on top the front section of the t-shirt good side facing down so that we sew on the bad edges. So just grab a couple of pins and pop them through on what will be the shoulder seams. You can see there that there are little notches that you can use to link up the fabric so it sits perfectly. Now you're going to overlock this edge and this edge on your overlocker and you will be left with this. The next step is then to attach the sleeves. I actually also forgot to cut out my little notches on the sleeve so here I am just cutting them out now. The benefit of doing that is that you can just pop those into place and know that they are perfectly placed when you put them in. So just pop some pins in around the border of that seam and then just repeat that process again for the other side. And once you've completed that, we are now going to take that across to our overlocker and overlock these edges here which once completed will look like this. With that done, the next step is now to close the side seam. So folding that fabric on top of itself to resemble a finished t-shirt, I am pinching those corners together and I'm gonna pop a pin in the very center of them so that they are perfectly aligned for when I sew. You'll then just continue to pop a few more pins into that side seam to keep it in place for when we overlock it. Repeat again for the other side. And now it's time to overlock this side and this side. And this is what it will look like. Next step is then to attach the neckband. So here I am linking up those two seams, which are the shoulder seams together so that I can find the center back, which I pop a pin in to indicate as a marker. And then I do that again and find the center front and pop another pin in for a marker. Grab your neckband and lay it down, good side of the fabric facing up, that's the good side, and then fold that in half and you're going to overlock this edge here. You can pop a pin in if you like. And then you will have this. So same thing again, just popping a little pin at the front so I can indicate the center front. So opening up that band, I am folding it in half. That will be the back of the neck band. So going to the center back of that t-shirt, I am popping that pin through. I've also then pinned the front of the neck band to the center front. And then just as a caution, I like to put another pin there into the shirt so that I know it is equally distributed. Sometimes the neck band you need to pull that fabric along to fit the band of the shirt. That is a good thing when it's just a little bit of pull because it curves that neckline in and conceals that band and it just makes it sit really nicely once it's sewn. So 
So please note, when I was inserting that band, the shirt was inside out and I popped that neckband on the inside of the shirt. Now that I've done that, I am going to turn the shirt inside out because it's easier to sew down the neckband doing it this way. So having it turned inside out, you are then going to find the center back of that neckband because that is where you want to start sewing on your overlocker. And with the neckband attached, this is what you will be left with. So as I said before, the neckband is usually a little bit shorter than the actual shirt so that it, you pull it a little bit so that it curves in. And you might be able to see there that it's curved in a little bit which is exactly what you want. If it was loose, it would fall over and that seam would be exposed. So that's perfect. This is exactly what you want. And now it is time to cover stitch the hem of the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt. If you don't have a cover stitch machine, that's okay. Just Google how to use twin needles slash cover stitch with a straight sewer machine and it will give you instructions on how to do these steps. So once you have done that, I like to get a ruler and about one centimeter in, I like to get my chalk and draw a little line just to help me see exactly where I want to fold that fabric. So folding right on that edge there, I then grab some pins and I pop some pins all around the perimeter. Repeat that process for the other sleeve and the bottom of the hem of the shirt. And now we're going to take that across to our cover stitch machine. So when you are hemming anything, make sure that you begin at the start of a seam. This seam here is the under seam of the underarm. So start there and continue to sew all the way around and bring it back on over the top of itself and just repeat this process for the remaining hems. And this will be the final result. That was the end of the tutorial. I really hope that was helpful for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get first notified and access to 20% off discount codes. They last the first 48 hours and are applicable to my sewing patterns that are coupled with these videos. Outside of that, please comment below if I can help you with anything else and good luck with your sewing project.